So it's Friday afternoon and I was getting ready for the weekend, but I saw that Human May just released a brand new AI writer, which is very exciting. So I thought I'd better do a quick video. And in this video, I'm going to compare four AI writers. Now, these are writers that I'm looking to be fully integrated into Gutenberg, and that's the basis on how I'm comparing them. So I'm going to compare the Human Made one, the Gutenberg Hub one, Bertha AI, and AI Engine. Let's get into it. So we're going to start with the AI writer from Gutenberg Hub and one of the nice things about it is you can just type space to bring up the prompt then you write your prompt so in this case I'm saying write a short history about WordPress I'm going to do exactly the same prompt over on the right in ChatGPT running ChatGPT 3.5 and then I'm going to try and start them both at about the same time and see what happens I hit return and it wears away and then I click that little icon down there and the same thing now one of the things you immediately see well, one is how much quicker ChatGPT is. It's just like super fast. And the other nice thing about ChatGPT is you actually see it as it's writing. And it seem, might seem quite a small thing, but actually as it's writing its content, you can sort of start to read it, which gives you some really great feedback. And over on the left here, we're still waiting for the AI writer to do its thing. And it's done it down here. And look at that, it's brought it in. And one of the really nice things about AI writer is that it actually brings it in and formats it for you so let's look at the list view and you can see here it's actually brought in headings and it's created this list so it's natively supportable in Gutenberg which is absolutely fantastic however one of the big issues with it is now I'm kind of stuck with this content and for me this is probably at the moment the biggest issue just in terms of how I work with ChatGPT so if this was me over on the right working in ChatGPT I might say something like make this shorter and punchier and ChatGPT will do its thing and you can see it's really, really quick. <laughs> there it does, it's just phenomenal. But over on the right here, I can't really do that. I can't select all these blocks and prompt it to say something. I can select one of them and then I can ask AI up here to do something with it. For example, I could say rewrite it or simplify the language, which is fantastic. But what I can't do is easily edit the whole block and that's kind of the way I'm working with ChatGPT at the moment. I'm using it as like a little intern where I'm giving it a task and then I'm telling it to make adjustments to that task. Next up is Bertha AI, which isn't as tightly integrated into the block editor as the other plugins I'm showing you today, but it does have some really nice features. To access the prompt, you just click into the editor and you'll see the little Bertha icon here. Click on that and opens up the chatbot. I'm going to do exactly the same test that I did before. So write a short history about WordPress and I'm going to do exactly the same thing in ChatGPT over on the right. And let's set them free. Let's go comment and then hit the ChatGPT one. And immediately you can see ChatGPT is absolutely powering through it. Bertha is not far behind, but ChatGPT has already finished. One of the really nice things about Bertha AI is that you see it as it's typing it, so you can start to comprehend how it's getting on as it's actually producing it, which I really like. And it also has a nice typewriter sound, uh, which has stopped now, but there we go, that's finished. Now, the other nice thing about Bertha AI is that I can actually start to interact with it. So I could, at this point, say, make this shorter, for example. And it'll go back, because it's just a chatbot, and it'll make that shorter for me and it shouldn't take very long at all. Exactly the same thing that I can do over here. Now, the only thing is, I think, the only way to get this into your site, as far as I can tell, is to copy and paste it. So if I command C that one and then paste it over into the editor, I think at the moment for my testing, that's the only way to get the content across. And you can see we do have an issue that hasn't put any formatting in it. So I have a chunk of work to do to start to format that. I think that's right. I could come in here and format it as normal but you see when I click on the list view it's just put it in the paragraph block whereas if I'm copying and pasting over here from you know just the native chat GBT it will actually respect my paragraphs and put them in paragraph blocks so it has some advantages Bertha AI because it's just right within your WordPress site Next up is the AI writer from Human Made. This is so new, it doesn't really have a proper name yet, as far as I can work out. Let me show you how it works though. So you can add your prompt by a shortcut. I'm gonna do the same prompt again. I'm gonna go write a short history about WordPress. And then you just hit return and it's gonna do its thing. Let's do the same over on the right and let's compare them. 
and you can see what ChatGPT over on the right here is still quicker, but we've got some real speed going on here. I guess the biggest issue I'm facing here is just the difference in terms of content. This is very, very short. Now I did say write a short history, but there's a huge difference in terms of gave them the same prompt and they're both using OpenAI, but look at the difference in ChatGPT. It's much, much more extensive, which is a little bit strange. Now at the moment, it's still in a AI generation block. We haven't actually inserted it into the page yet, which means we can actually edit it. So I could say, make it longer and it'll go off and make it longer for me, which is great. Here we go, it's gonna make it longer now and it's finished it. Now, if we're happy with that, we can just hit return and that inserts it and you can see it's inserted it as Gutenberg blocks here. So now we're natively working in Gutenberg. Here's another really cool example of how they have integrated Gutenberg tightly with their AI writer. So I could write a prompt like create a table with all the releases of WordPress and it'll actually start to create me a table, a Gutenberg table. So this is really profound and clever. Here we go. You see it's actually created the table block for me. You saw that very quickly and it'll start to trundle off now and go through all the releases of WordPress. Here we go, version one, 2004. I'm gonna insert that and you'll see it's actually inserted that directly into a Gutenberg table block. So I have all the table settings that I would normally have when I'm building with Gutenberg so I could change the background color and all the whizzy stuff that I can normally do. And last but not least is the AI Engine plugin, which is probably more famous for being a chatbot, but it actually has a lovely AI writer in it as well now. To access the prompt, you just type space and then you get the AI Copilot up. I'm gonna do the same prompt in this one. I'm gonna go write a short history about WordPress, add H2s for each section heading. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing over on the right. And then in this case, I'm just gonna hit return and I'm gonna set them both free and we can see again as we expect by now ChatGBT is just on a different level of speed to all these plugins because it's native I guess we're still waiting for the AI copilot over here now this may be related to my website but I'm not really sure let's hang on for a few more seconds okay and there we go and it looks like it hasn't added any of the h2 headings for me which is a little bit disappointed and let's see what it's done it's just shoved it all in a paragraph block. So I can't really manipulate it once it's in situ. So that's a major drawback for me. That was kind of probably, for me personally, for the type of work I'm doing, long form articles, that's probably a bit of a showstopper. You can actually jump up here and you can come in and say enhance and correct text. Let's just see if that works. I'm not sure if I need to um, highlight it. I'm gonna go shorter text and let's see what happens. And there we go, that has actually worked really well. But I can't really reprompt it. I can't, as far as I can see, I can't actually manipulate what I've already got like I can over here on the right in ChatGPT. So given my specific workflow of creating quite long form content when I'm really having almost like a conversation with ChatGPT, at the moment I would probably stick to the native ChatGPT application. All these plugins are fantastic and they all have really good strong points but as a just as in terms of the writing experience i would probably still use ChatGPT and copy and paste at the moment but i do think there's a massive opportunity for whoever gets this 100 percent correct the ai writer that i'm looking forward to using will be natively gutenberg it needs to be faster i need to be able to re-prompt it just like i can with ChatGPT and ask it questions before it inserts the content into the page and ideally, I'd like to pre-tune it to my voice somewhere in the settings so I can say, right, it always needs to sound like it's coming from me so I don't have to prompt it every single time. So if we got those four things, I would be all in on using an AI native Gutenberg tool. We're not quite there yet, but I don't think it'll be very long at all. But let me know what you think. Do you currently use ChatGBT to create any content on your websites or are you very anti-AI? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you think about AI and the future. I'm gonna be updating you on these plugins as they develop as well, because I think they're very exciting. If you can hit the like button on this video, it would be amazing because it really, really, really does help spread the word of the channel on YouTube. I've really got to upload it quickly now because time is marching on. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.